Today, I'm going to be building a bakery in Blocksburg. And this is actually inspired by Peter the Weirdo. And Peter the Weirdo said, you should build a bakery because you're allergic to bread and have celiac disease. Lol. Lol? And not only did Pete comment this, 82 people like this comment. So today, I'm going to be attempting to build a bakery, even though I've never been to one. And at the end of the video, I'll also be inviting you guys to come to my bakery. So if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can participate in future videos. So we're going to name my bakery AV's Gluten-Free Bakery. Ha. Are you serious? It's what she deserves. Oh my. But before we start building my bakery, I feel like I should get in an apron. So we have this apron here, which, okay, not bad, not bad. And then we have this. Okay, what? Why do I have man boobs? I'm, okay, never mind. I, I seen what I needed to see and um, I'm scared. Like, like instantly I was like, yeah, no. That was I'm just gonna stick to my usual outfit. So behind me, I have a little exterior shell of my bakery. Nothing too big. I kind of want to do like an industrial vibe bakery. And one of you guys called Bark Bark actually made this decal right here. So this is what we're gonna use for the bakery. I feel like we're gonna do an industrial vibe for this bakery. I just feel like if I owned a bakery, it would definitely be industrial. I'm not a good cutter, so don't zoom in on me. I'm not professional whatsoever. So if you guys don't know what industrial means, I think the word industrial was actually inspired by the Industrial Revolution, if I am correct. Like, I don't know much about interior design, but I think that's where the word comes from. And this is because industrial interior design embraces things like pipes, bricks, concrete. So I'm going to try and make this very earthy, hence why we're using bricks. Okay, so the thing is, right, I can have bread and, like, I can go to bakeries and that. They just have to be gluten-free. So for the door, you know what? I'm kind of feeling like green doors. I don't know why, but I'm feeling green doors today. And then for the windows, you know what? We're going to do custom made windows. I want two massive windows on the side, having like a massive display of all the bread. Also, bakeries don't just sell bread, right? They also sell like cakes and cupcakes. Right. So we can have lots of like displayed items inside. Also, I'm not measuring up these windows. I'm just hoping they measure up. That okay, what is that? Okay, you know what? It doesn't look too bad. So we're just gonna copy this and place it here as well. Also, we need the little curtains at the front here. I just I've got no idea what they're called. They're called earnings. No, yawnings. Oh, what are they called? The little curtain things. Looks like I know you have them. I just don't know what they're called. Great, now I'm gonna have to scroll for like five minutes trying to find these things. Uh... Bloxburg, please. Where are they? No, this is annoying me because I know Bloxburg has them. I just can't find them. Oh, I can't find them. This is ridiculous. Um, Bloxburg bakeries. Okay, who ha who has used these? I will find whoever. French girl, you. No, they oh, they're not it. Ah, Peter Bread, you have used them. What are they called? Okay, hello, Peter Bread. Show me. What are they called? What are they called? Peter, what are they called? Please help me. Help me, help me. Warnings. Ha, thank you, Peter Bread. I love you. Mwah. Um, ciao. Anyway, so awning oh my god finally we're gonna have a little awning above the door that's literally it that's all we're gonna do And if this is an industrial bakery, I feel like these outdoor wall lamps would kind of look cool. And I just realized we do not have a roof. So above my bakery, I think I want to have a massive bread loaf. However, I do not know how to build a bread loaf. All right, what if we do like a square here, like that? And then we use a horizontal cylinder. And then with the transform tool, we kind of bring this down a little bit like that. Does that kind of look like bread? I don't know. I mean, it kind of looks like bread. Oh, and we can do the crust as well. You we can put another layer inside of this, make this a darker shade so it looks like the cross. If this actually works, call me a certified genius. I mean, it's kind of working, okay? Just let me cook. <gasps> it kind of works! You know what? It looks like a bread loaf. We'll take it. So then in the middle of our bread loaf, we can have a wall sign. I feel like if I change this material to wood, it'll make it look more like bread. You know nothing. Okie dokie. Well, we have our little bread loaf. We can now start decorating the outside of our bakery. I kind of want this entire section to be made out of cobblestone. Usually when I'm doing a build, I accidentally make the building way too far away. And then there's this like a massive empty space at the front. So I definitely don't want that. I'm also going to lay the fence and put a metal fence on top of this bush to really embrace the industrial vibe. And then look at that. Bob's your uncle, mate. Look at that. Look at that. All right, what's some industrial tables we can use? Instead of using these industrial tables, we are going to custom make some tables. Why? Because you just, you can't beat custom making stuff. So are you ready for this beauty? Vertical cylinder. Cube. And uh, yeah, that's it. 
Oh my god, did you guys think I was gonna be fancy with the tables? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know how many outdoor chairs and tables I want out here. I'm thinking just three. I don't want to overdo it. Also, don't even ask me why these chairs are so messy. I just like them that way. The messier, the better. Oh, and at the top of the bakery, we're also going to have some plants. Because hanging plants just make everything look better. Like, like without hanging plants, with hanging plants. Thank you. Point proven. And you know what we're also going to add out here? More trees. We're going to have rich people trees. If you have one of these trees in your house, I consider you rich. I'm a mother, millionaire, law student, and billionaire. Tell me this doesn't look like rich people trees. It also might be a little bit dark out here. So to make it a bit more brighter, we're going to add some classic hanging lights. Aw, see, look how cozy that looks. Jeez, I'm allergic to bread and this is making me want to go to a bakery. I mean, hey, I'm sure they've got gluten-free bakeries, right? As for these tables, I think we're just going to keep it simple, put some napkins on top and maybe some candles. So now that the outside of the bakery is done, we can start working on the inside. Here, we're going to have some seating options, the kitchen, maybe a study area to the left. And then the rest of it's just going to be seats. And for the inside of the kitchen, I kind of want to stick to the pattern that we've done outside. And I already know what I want to have back here. Okay, so considering this is the back of the kitchen, which leads into the kitchen. I want to make this very fancy. Or as I like to say lately, a very fancy smancy. So we're going to have traditional pillars in this pattern. And then outline the roof with some plain high arches. What's my obsession with plain high arches? The world will never know. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. And considering this is all going to be shelves, like stacked up with bread and stuff, I'm just going to fill these up with oak shelves. And I kind of want to have a French door back here. This way you can actually see into the kitchen. Criminal offensive side eye. Also, I don't know why I'm doing this in reverse. We don't even have a floor yet. Like, that is so unlike me. Like, to start decorating without placing the floors. <gasps> um, am I okay? Apparently not, because I just placed the floors wrong. Are you kidding me? Every time I have to layer floors and it doesn't work, you do not understand the rage that fills my body. Okay, so as soon as you walk into my bakery, I want there to be two display shelves here. So I think I'm just going to use a basic counter with a commercial display counter at the front. Why'd I say counter like that? <laughs> I've seen this photo on Pinterest and I love the way they display the bread in this window. So I kind of want to do something similar. So I might put a cube at the back here and then place another commercial display case. And to cover the back of it, we're just going to put pillars. And then from the outside, it looks like this. And I also want to copy the same thing and place it on this window as well. Surprisingly, I actually don't miss eating regular bread. Don't get me wrong, gluten-free bread sucks. It tastes like cardboard, but it's fine because I've gotten used to it. You know what I do miss though? McDonald's nuggets. That stuff was the bomb. The bomb diggity. Also, these pillars at the back, right now it's looking like a retro nightclub, but if we change the colors, it's looking like a nice respectable bakery. And for the windows of this bakery, we're gonna use the same ones we done outside. So then that way, don't, no, no. <gasps> are these wonky? Do these windows look wonky to you? Oh my gosh, they are too. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. All my windows are now wonky at the bottom. Stop, that's so stupid. You know what, it's fine. What do I say? We're, we're, we're really going with a whole industrial theme. I mean, let's be for real. You aren't gonna notice. Yes, the eye of the tiger. He does have the eye of the tiger. Are you sure about that? Oh my God, you scared me. <laughs> Can you please look maybe that way? That way, thank you. So for the chairs and the tables in the bakery, if we type up industrial, as you can see, it comes up with all the industrial furniture. You know, I feel like these would actually come in handy. We could place like books in there and stuff. Okay, so now for the seating, the first thing I want to do is a booth by the window. Now, usually I would use a basic shape for this, but Luxburg already has these industrial pipe desks. I hate when you say something that ends with the word S. You do this weird at the end of your sentence, like watch. Try and say desks. See, I just done it. It's so annoying. I also do it when I say masks. How do I stop this? It's really bothering me. Masks. Oh my God. I can't, I can't. I'm just gonna drive myself insane. Are you, are you, are you, are you? And if I'm not mistaken, Bloxburg also has industrial stools. Ha ha ha. So we can have a little laptop right here. Just in case someone wants to come to the bakery to study. You know what I am so happy about though? Bloxburg actually added bread loafs to the game. So once I get out of build mode and invite you guys on, all the commercial display cases will be filled with bread. Okay, so there's our little breakfast nook. I'm thinking we can also have some round chairs and tables. Oh my gosh. My friend just joined the server and I'm really concerned. She always shows up in the most random outfits. My mom told me to just be myself and people would like me. 
I've just been filming and she'll show up in like a polar bear outfit. And I'm like, girl, where did you even find that? Oh, we haven't used these industrial pipe chairs. We can use some of those. Oh my gosh. And on top of the desk, we can have a metal lamp. Wait, that is kind of everything. You know how like at fancy restaurants, they'll have lamps on the table. Oh yeah, we're so doing that. I might even copy these chairs from outside and add like two along the window here. This can be a two seater. And then this person here can be sitting alone. They can be lonely person, you know? I don't need friends. They disappoint me. Okay, so I think that's it for the seating. I don't want to overdo it because, I mean, it is a bakery. It's not a restaurant. And I'm thinking to decorate the back here, we can have some vines. And on top of these shelves, we can just place some food bags. So we can have some food bags mixed with books. You know, the day of Bloxburg allows us to change the material of books. I'll be one happy chap. Make these shelves stand out more. We're going to place a little pendant above it. I feel like in a bakery, though, you usually have, like, random shelves displayed. You know what? I have a feeling we could fit a lounge in here. Just like a random lounge in the middle. I know that's so random, but bear with me, okay? I think it looks, I don't know. It's kind of giving, kind of. And we'll leave this section empty because this is where the back counter is going to be. So now all we need to do is fix the light. And then we are ready to work on the back bit of the kitchen. <gasps> Stop. Anne's just said the back looks so aesthetic. Um, <laughs> Stop. Oh my gosh, I forgot to decorate the back of the kitchen. <laughs> Not my friends calling me out. Okay, now for the bakery, I think we're going to use some rustic counters here. And then we can have like a commercial display case. And then I'm just going to put a wall here. And you're probably like, Alaska, why are you just placing a random wall? Wee oui, wee, oui, that is because I can just place a door right here. And then my workers can go straight into the back of the kitchen. Why am I talking in the French accent? I do not know. You know what? It's because Ange is French. It's because I love the French, all right? If you're French, guess what? I love you. <gasps> Someone just hopped on build mode. Sometimes I forget that I give my my friends co-owner I get scared when they jump in build mode I'm like whoa hey, Paul, you me, Jesus. I find it so cool that I'm like friends of French people I sometimes forget that you guys are from like different countries that is literally so cool like I was reading my comments and someone was like oh I'm from Dubai and I'm like Dubai Dubai where they have like little robots in their malls like can I own a little robot no I also want to have a I also want to have some cubes up the top here. This way we can have all of our menu items displayed at the top. Okay, so what we're going to have here is some trays. You can pick your loaf of bread. Oh, maybe some cake stands. Oh, wait, that is actually kind of cute. Also, I know this is a bakery, but I feel like a coffee machine is just essential here. That's the only reason we're adding a coffee machine. And then we cannot forget the little menu items at the top. Oh my gosh, wait, why is this looking cute? You know what? I think I'm actually just going to get rid of this room. The reason I got rid of the back of the kitchen is because... So I reckon if we knock down one of these shelves, this is like the perfect place to add the oven. Okay, I looked on Pinterest. I saw something like this for the back of the bakery. I love how you can kind of see everything that's going on. So we can fit like the fridge right here. And I reckon the shelf on the right can be all of our kitchen supplies. Oh, running a bakery would actually be so difficult. Like I could not take the pressure of that. I don't know. I just don't think this is like great for me. I don't want to do it. Oh, we need a toaster. Duh. I mean, this is a bakery after all. And we'll also need room to add our microwave somewhere. I think we're just going to place it here and you know how bakeries have to like roll the bread well uh duh we're gonna have to have some counters in the middle so people can watch the chefs roll bread i tried rolling bread once it was very difficult you know how you watch those tiktoks where people like roll bread Oh my gosh, roll dough. Was I just saying roll bread? <laughs> okay, these little open paper bags. We can just pretend this to be flour. Actually, Bloxburg has flour. <gasps> they do. All-purpose flour. Perfect. We just have a stack of flour at the back here. I tried rolling dough once. It was very difficult. Actually, you know what we can do to make this look like we're rolling dough? Put a small dirt pile and make this like a dough color. And bakeries are usually messy, so we can just have like dough all around the floor. A little bit of a messy kitchen, but it's all right. And then we also need our sink. Okay, so I think that is everything at the back of our kitchen. Are we missing something? Most likely it is me after all. So now all we have to do is fix up the lighting, an industrial chandelier at the back. And then for these front counters, we're going to use some industrial pendants. Make it very, very vibey, vibe if you will. So now that the bakery is done, I'm going to change all of the decals before inviting you guys onto the server. And just like that, the bakery is all complete and comes to a total of $107,000. And as you can see behind me, I've hired a few workers to come help me today before the opening. So at the front here, we have a little outdoor seating moment. I'm glad we went 
kind of the whole industrial theme for the bakery and when we walk in it gets even cuter it just reminds me of like a warm parisian cafe like everything's so cozy i love how everything's cozy and then we just get these weird decals on the wall so these are my workers that are going to be helping me today we have sloth and then we have oh my lord what okay okay what is that what the f our second worker is can you stop Stop running from me. I'm trying to introduce you. We have Ivy and then our other worker is Steph. Do cookies sell in bakeries? Yeah. Anyway, these are all my workers that are going to be helping me today. As you can see, they are stocking up all these shelves in preparation of you guys. So yeah, everything's stocked up at the front here. I feel like I should help them out a little bit. We've got a loaf of bread. Okay, I can cut this. See, I'm not entirely useless. Okay, and we need some bread displayed at the front here so we can place these in here. And you know what? I think we are ready to go. Don't eat, don't question what's... Don't question these decals. Okay, my workers, come sit with me real quick. We need a little staff meeting before we start. <laughs> Staring right into your soul. Okay, are you guys all ready for me to open this bakery up to the public? It's gonna be very chaotic. We have to prepare for the worst. Scared, but yes. Oh my gosh, she is ready for madness. <laughs> Let the gates hell open. <laughs> yes, she has the spirit. Okay, our bakery is officially open here we go <laughs> okay i guess i just have to like wait at the back here with my chefs and wait for everyone to come hello what can i get you uh oh, babe there's no one there you're seeing things okay well while we wait for all of our customers to come i'm gonna get stuff out of the oven you know we'll make some cookies oh gosh everyone's coming i'm scared oh we have our first customers okay is that someone dressed as a gingerbread man wait that's kind of cute can we cook him what did he say oh. Okay, I'm gonna bake these cookies while everyone serves the customers. Hello, what can I get for you? I love how she's just like, muffin. $40. I, I didn't know our muffins were so expensive, but okay. Oh my gosh, it looks like someone is enjoying one of my muffins. I'm bad. You know, I should probably ask her if she's enjoying her meal. Hi, Kay, how are you enjoying your muffin? That was scrumptious. It's amazing. Oh, beautiful. Good muffin making skills. I want another. Oh, well, with pleasure, darling. Oh my gosh, our bakery is filling up pretty fast. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to my bakery. Please line up and you'll be served shortly. And no breaking into the kitchens or I'll eat ya. Okay, hey, what do I say? I will literally eat you. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, you get out of the kitchen. It's the gingerbread man. All right, what can I get you? I'm hungry. That's not an item on the menu. Cookie, please, Alaska. Yes, I can give you a cookie. Here is your uh, chocolate chip cookie. Enjoy. Enjoy. Please take a seat. Um, okay, you know what? We've got free workers in this kitchen, and there is only one person serving these customers. Not you stealing. Someone placed it on the floor. I picked it up. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Robbery will not take place in this bakery. You know what? I'm locking all these doors. Lock. All right, these doors are locked until further investigation. I'm going to place everything in the fridge for now who on earth stole my loaf of bread oh <gasps> what is going on okay someone call the police we've got a robbery we have a robbery going on in this bakery okay this is ridiculous this this is ridiculous what 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 turned wrong there's someone dancing on my table someone is stealing my muffins okay this is it okay staff you've got to grab all the food and store it in the fridge update we've got no food left never mind it wasn't me alaska i'm innocent okay fine i will be investigating one by one who stole my muffins our first customer. Okay, please follow me to the kitchen. You were my first customer, which means you must have seen who stole all my muffins. So who was it? Wasn't me. I picked them from the floor. Oh, it's okay, Kay. I believe you. So who was it? It was him. The muffin man? The muffin man? The muffin man! The muffin man. Was the muffin man? The betrayal. Okay, everyone get the gingerbread man. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, everyone chase this gingerbread man. He cannot get away with this. <laughs> Look at him! He's running! He is running! You can run, but you cannot hide, gingerbread man. I know what you've done. You stole everything from my bakery. Get him, Alaskians. Get him. Get the man. He stole my bread. You stole my bread. I know what you done. You can't run from me. I'm faster than you. Avengers! Assemble. No! Okay, well, you know what? Besides the store getting robbed and someone parking their car inside of my bakery, I'd say the opening was actually pretty successful. I mean, overall, my work has done a pretty good job. This gingerbread man, though, he will get justice. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!